Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. Now before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been very supportive of this channel and uh, supporting me in my efforts to create new content, uh, new tutorials for everyone to use. Uh, as you probably saw on my uh, community tab, or the community tab of this YouTube channel or on my Twitter account, I did get sick last weekend and that was scary, you know? Um, I didn't know if I had the virus or not. And uh, I had a sore throat and 103 fever. I was able to keep the fever down using uh, Tylenol. And thankfully I got in touch with a doctor on Monday and got penicillin. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine now. And yeah, thank you, thank you so, so much. And it just, you know, that whole experience made me realize getting in touch with a doctor is tough now. And we have to be as healthy as possible in, in uh, keeping as clean as possible to let the doctors do their job. And so we don't add m more stress to the doctors uh, by getting sick. So do your best to stay healthy. Wash those hands. Do the physical distancing, social distancing or whatever. Uh, stay home. Learn some no-code stuff while we wait for this to get better. Um, and a lot of people like to say, we're all in this together. And that's that's more true than ever, all right? What you're doing, uh, like I said in a long, uh, in a tweet I did a long time ago, whatever I do, whatever choices I make in my life affects everyone around me. Even the people that I don't know or don't think I, I will ever interact with. And vice versa. Whatever you or everyone else does, whatever choices that are made out there, will eventually affect me and my family. So, uh, be safe, stay healthy, stay indoors, and let's get through this together. Alright? So, what are we going to be learning today? Uh, CSS widths? max widths and min widths. Also, we're gonna learn CSS uh, pixel sizes, percentages, and viewport width, VW. All right, so let's get to it. All right, let's drag in a div block. Now, what is a div block? A div block is just a box on your website, a box that holds your content. And whenever you put a div block onto the page, it has some default settings already. It has display block, width auto, and height auto. All right? Now, what is width auto with display block? It is 100% of its parent, okay? Now, who is this div block's parent? Well, right now, body you can see right here and that's why div block is indented because it is a child of body now the body is the full width of the page uh, or of the browser and so div block is a hundred percent of body and the height is auto so if i were to give this a background color of light blue you'll see that when i preview this I see nothing. Now, why is that? The width is 100% and the height is auto. Well, the height is auto, meaning it's the height of whatever content is inside of the div block. Since we have nothing inside of there, it has no height. Now, let's go ahead and drag in a text block. And notice how the height collapsed down to whatever size this text block is, which is 14 and a line height of 20. So if I preview this, there we go. Now, since the width is 100% because of display block and width auto, this is already a responsive page. So if I play around with this, we're good. We see no overflow. If I play around with this, we see no overflow and so on. 
The reason why is because this width being auto will always be 100% of the parent, which is body, okay? So let's go ahead and play around with width, min width, and max width. So for width, we're setting strict rules to the size of this block, okay? So I'm gonna set this to a thousand, okay? So I'm setting a strict rule, a thousand PX pixels. If I go down to a lower breakpoint, notice I have all of this overflow content, okay? So I can scroll left and right on my mouse, which is not a good thing. The reason why horizontal scroll is not a good thing is because if you have content that a user has to scroll up and down, they'll also have content to scroll left and right, which means you'll have two scroll bars on your web page, which creates a very bad user experience. So you never want this to happen, all right? So how can we fix this? Well, one way is to make the width smaller. Okay, so let me set this down to, nope. Let's set it down to say 700 pixels. All right, there we go, 700 pixels. So if I play around with this, we're fine, right? Cool. Now let's go down to mobile landscape. Uh-oh, we still have some overflow content. All right, now we need to fix it again. Okay, setting it to 500. And we go here, uh-oh. Now we have more overflow content. So let's go ahead and set this to 300. All right, we're fine. So this is one way to solve it, but it isn't the best way, all right? The reason being is because if you go here, we're fine, but if I start dragging this in, watch what happens, okay? I'm going to start having overflow content in between until I change the breakpoints, okay? You can't see it, but it's small. I promise you it's there, but this is what they call adaptive uh, design, okay? Where it just adapts, oh, there it is. See that right there? There's a little bit right here. And so I have to figure out on each breakpoint how small I have to make this. And this is not a good design because what if you want this to be somewhere around here? You know, you have to adapt, meaning you'd have to create custom breakpoints for each and every little spot on your page, each little um, width on your page. That's not good. That's adaptive design. What you want is fluid web design. Okay. And here's how we do that. Let's go ahead and remove the widths from each breakpoint. All right. So I'm holding option and pressing on the blue link. And now we're back to being fluid because the width is auto. Okay. All right. So let's set the width to be 80% of its parent. Okay. And again, who's the parent? The body's the parent. So I'm setting the width to 80%. And so if you see here, it looks like this doesn't move from here. It looks like it's the same space. The reason why is because it's 80% of its parent. And if I go here, we never get that overflow and it becomes fluid, All right? So that's how to use widths and making them either pixels or percentages. And again, you want to use percentage more than exact pixels because it makes your designs, it makes your layouts more fluid because you never know how wide or tall your user's web browser or device may be. Okay, now let's play around with a different thing. Okay, let's play around with viewport with VW, okay? Now, what's VW? If I drag in, say, another div block, and we give this a width of 
960 pixels wide and a height of 250. And we center it by using this button right here. All this is is just giving it a margin of auto on both sides. All right. And giving this a color of, say, light green. And then we're going to drag in div block four into div block five. Now look what happens. Okay. Div block four, it has a width of 80 pixels or sorry, 80% of its parent. Now the parent is no longer the body. That's the grandparent. The parent is now div block five. So div block five is 960 pixels wide and div block four is 80% of 960. Now you don't have to do the math to find out how wide this is gonna be. Just know in your head that it's 80% of 960. And so I can take this 80 and say, make it 100%, all right? And so if I were to make this smaller, Notice how both of them are going beyond the canvas. That's because the parent div block five has a strict rule of being 960 uh, pixels wide. All right. And so what is, and of course what we can fix that 960 by actually making it responsive, say, 80 pixels of its parent, which is body, and this width, you can say 80 pixels, 80 percent of that. So that's 80 of this, and this is 80 of this. And so if I go down, they grow and they're more fluid, and they never go beyond. Now let's talk about viewport width. Now if I set this to 80 VW. Notice that, let's see here. Okay, we're gonna set it to 85, there we go. So notice how it's 85 viewport width or 85% of the actual browser size, not its parent, not the body, but the, the actual browser size. Okay, let me set this to like 90. Cool. Now, if I go down to here, notice how it grows a different way than, than the um, div block five, than its parent. So it's ignoring its parent. When you do VW, it ignores its parent and gets a percentage from the browser width. Okay? So that's what VW means. If I set this back to auto, meaning 100% of its parent, then we're good to go. All right. So that's the difference between with auto, with, uh, with a strict pixel width, and a percentage. Okay, next, we're going to talk about max width. We're going to skip min width for now, but we're going to go to max width first. All right. Now let's go ahead and we're back at div block four. We're going to delete the width and just keep it as auto. And we're going to drag this out as div block five. I'm going to push these away from each other using margin top and margin bottom. Okay. That way you can see the difference. Now this div block four, we're going to give it a max width of uh, 1100. Okay, so what does this do? The width is 100% of its parent. So it's 100% of body. But I want you to go as far as you can 100% until you reach 100, uh, 1100 pixels wide, okay? So that's what happens. I'm letting it 
stretch. I'm letting it expand as far as it can, but setting a rule saying, go as far as you can, but only 1100 pixels wide, okay? So if I were to see what happens, notice how this isn't, this isn't getting skinnier like the green box. It's staying at 1100. However, when the actual browser size gets smaller than 1100, then it starts to get skinnier. The content never overflows beyond the body. It never goes beyond the actual browser size. Okay. So what it's saying is go as far as you can, but up until 1100. Now, if I go here to tablet, we can never go further than 1100 because as you can see here in the bottom right here, the ruler, we can only go up to 991. And so it's going to just go a hundred percent of the browser width because it can never get to that 1100. All right. Okay, so we've learned width and max width. Now what's min width, all right? Well, obviously it's the opposite of max width. Max width lets you expand as far as you can up to a certain point. Min width lets you collapse until a certain point. So I'm going to remove max width and set min width to uh, 1100 pixels, okay? So width with display block is setting the width of the, of the div block to 100% of its parent. However, with min width, if I start to shrink this lower than 1000 pixels, look what happens. We have overflow content. Okay, and the reason why is because we can collapse as much as possible on the width until 100, uh, 1100 pixels. Okay, so if I keep going, keep going, it's 100% of the body, and then I get smaller and smaller. We're going to reach below 100 or 1100 pixels, and then there we go. We start to get overflow content. All right, so that's min width, just the exact opposite. Now, when would you use min width? Well, honestly, for me, I don't use min width at all. I just delete that and I just set a max of 1100 or even 1200 pixels wide. Okay, so that's the difference between width, min width, and max width. And also we've learned pixels, percentages, and viewport widths. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to support my work, my, my content, I have a new Buy Me Coffee page. Go to buymecoffee.com. And basically you can donate uh, a cup of coffee, like $5, 15 or whatever you want to donate. And uh, yeah, that would truly, that would really help me out. Now, if you have a request for a video, I have a huge, uh, I have a huge queue of all of your requests and I want to get through them all, but it takes me some time. But if you have a request and you really want it to be on the top of my queue, donate uh, to my Buy Me Coffee page and uh, put your request into the text box and I'll put that at the top of the queue. I'll do my best to get it done within a week and um, yeah, we'll just do that from now on, okay? So again, it's buymecoffee.com slash pixelgeek and yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below and that's it. Thank you so, so much and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya. Wash your hands.